Father, Roblin Bailey, what's up, you trust fund pre freak? Uh, what's up, Zach? Uh, yay, master. Thoughts on Leo being murdered? Uh, I really don't know anything about it. Um, I don't run my mouth about things I'm not educated on. Which makes me 100% more intelligent than everybody that goes on Dave Palumbo's show. Are you siding with McCuck's take on Leo? Well, I, I think everybody's got their own take. Um, but I think McCuck has some solid points. You guys haven't seen me go live to trash Leo. And I don't think I need to. I think the vultures have already swooped in and taken their pound of flesh. What the fuck left is there for me to say? Fuck. <clears throat> Father, who is winning the Super Bowl? I really don't know. I haven't even looked at the Vegas odds. Um, usually the, the betting line will be a pretty good predictor of that. Uh, I have to say I am rooting for the Philadelphia Eagles because I do have an East Coast bias. <clears throat> Yeah, I'm real sick of that fucking Mahomes haircut. Two eighty five standing military is pretty damn good. I'm hitting uh, barbell pressing movements today. Probably be a flat bench, a decline bench, back to the flat for some close grips, and then a behind the neck press. People that criticize sports have issues, man. <clears throat> Do you miss drinking? Um, maybe the first two or three beers when you get that glow. But I, I don't miss b being sluggish and stupid and not being able to do anything. Or waking up feeling like shit. But I know in my DNA... I don't have it in me to have two or three cold ones. Some people do. God bless you. Have two or three cold ones for thinking about me, because you know I I don't want to be a I don't want to be an asshole and say two or three beers is for pussies, because I'm a little bit jealous of people that can have two or three beers. Two or three beers for me leads to an entire twelve pack, if not a case. So. Yeah, if you can have two or three cold ones, God bless you. Good for you. Go have dinner. Relax. Uh, I'll tell you, when you get older, you can't even beat off drunk. Leo was depressed because he couldn't interview you. I doubt that. But I am, uh, I do want to remind everyone, I am the only misfit that, that did not uh, go on Leo's show, or whatever you call it. <clears throat> See, here's the deal with collaborating with someone. You don't do it just for fun, like Lenny does. Lenny criticizes people that have fun. Well, why the fuck does Lenny go on all these people's different programs? Here's the deal with here's the deal with collabing. Either someone can help you build your channel or 
if you like the other person, maybe you can help them build their channel. And if, if that possibility does not exist, then the only reason you're doing it is for fun, like Lenny does. So, you know, when I, after, after all the misfits had gone on Lenny's or on uh, Leo's uh, YouTube show, I looked at what happened to them. Nothing. Didn't do a damn thing for them. So I'm like, why do I need to do this? This isn't going to help me in any way. And, you know, I, I don't want to trash the guy because he's dead, but I wasn't particularly fond of Leo. So I didn't have any any uh, intention of wanting to help him out. So I'm like, this is, I'm not doing it. Why would I do this just for fun? You know, define fun, Brad. So if collabing with someone is just for fun, you know, and that gets your rocks off, go ahead and do it. But I wasn't going to do it just for fun. <clears throat> I'll collab with someone if I want to help their channel. Because I got, I got a decent amount of viewers. You know, if I pop on someone else's live stream, their viewers definitely goes up. If they've got a small channel just starting up, starting out. And if I, you know, if someone wants to help me, I, w I would love to go on someone's show that could help me. I just didn't see the possibility there. <clears throat> How are your joints feeling? I feel pretty good. Better collab with Jason. I wish Jason was uh, active. I think if if we could get Jason Genova to or to issue an Order sixty six on Johnny Bravo, that would be fucking epic. That would be the most fun we've all had in a long time. <clears throat> Speaking of the Syrian imposter, um, he's been uh, messaging me, threatening to have my uh, Instagram channel deleted. All because of that picture of him with his nice DeLorean I posted. Someone's got a car alarm going off. What a tool. You know, and I really like um, DeLoreans. You know, they're rather underpowered because if uh, back in those days, emissions were so strict, it was tough to produce a car that was fast. But I definitely like John DeLorean. You know, um, you guys know I'm a huge Pontiac um, aficionado, and uh, John John DeLorean invented the GTO, which is my favorite car. He was the head of engineering at Pontiac Motor Division at General Motors, and he eventually um, was promoted to run the all of General Motors. I'm sorry, not all of General Motors, uh, all of Pontiac, and then he. Uh, I think after 1970, was transferred over to Chevrolet to run Chevrolet. So uh, I'm a big fan of John DeLorean. You would have no Pontiac GTO without John DeLorean. So I post a car that I that I you know I I don't really care for DeLoreans that much. I think they're cool, but I post a picture of a car. And I get some little Syrian fucking guy with a plastic nose threatening to have my fucking uh, channel deleted. What? What is he breaking bread with Zuckerberg today this morning? Give me a fucking break. <clears throat> is John Bravo Syrian? I think so. Isn't that what Big Rob uh, disclosed? Or no, he's from Jordan. Same thing. I mean, come on, man. You want to split hairs and argue about the difference between Syria and Jordan? I just like all those old pictures of John Bravo before he got all that cost, uh, plastic surgery. Whoa, it's really fucking raining. 
I hate getting soaked before you go into the gym. <laughs> you got that you got that uh quote wrong. I think he said I had a 300 pound trucker coming at me and I didn't even flinch. Get it right. That's a great quote. Someone needs to make a meme. <laughs> McCuck was on fucking fire last night. If you notice my the caption or the title of this live stream is a McCaw which is a breed of parrot, macaw takes down a vulture. <clears throat> I think with the, with the current affairs the way they are right now, macuck needs to be referred to as the macaw. He's a vulture hunter. <clears throat> What are you training today, Father? Barbell pressing movements. Uh, remember, guys, for upper body, I'm on a push-pull system. Shrugs I would do on back day. To me, shrug is a pull. He mentioned a 330 pounder. No, he said 300. Come on, guys. Let's get the quote right. He said, I had a 300 pound trucker coming after me, coming at me, and I didn't even flinch. Hold the, stop the tape. Stop the tape. You guys need to rewatch it and get the quote right, damn it. I, I laughed when he fucking said that. <clears throat> How much test are you on per week, Father? Um, here's my philosophy on TRT. If you do one injection a week, you can tell people you're on TRT. That's really none of their business how much you're loading in that syringe. Because if you're only doing one, if you're only doing one injection per week, that's not a real cycle. Don't heavy deads take care of straps? Absolutely. Keeping the weight down still? Kentucky Blue, what do you mean by still? I don't think I ever kept my weight down. I was a trim uh, 314 this morning. Is Palumbo keeping Johnny Bravo? close what purely a tactical decision i have no idea i know that palumbo likes to surround himself with idiots <clears throat> i mean the the average intelligence on rx muscle is fucking about 95 jimmy the bull he's under 100 Mr. G, he's under 100. John Romano, who I really dislike, he seems like a fairly bright guy. Um, who's the, uh, Greg Valentino? He's probably not too book smart, but he's definitely got common sense. Greg Valentino is not stupid. I just don't think he got a very good education which is no fault of his own. It's where he grew up. <clears throat> yeah, there's a bunch of idiots on that RX muscle. You know, I was, I was driving while, while, uh, McCaw, caw, caw, was uh, doing his live stream, so it was hard for me to read the comments. But was Hamburg really defending Johnny Bravo? I couldn't tell what was going on. I saw people criticizing Hamburg, but I, 
I didn't see, I couldn't actually read a lot of Hamburg's comments. Jay, was that you and Vince Goodrum's live stream today? Absolutely not. I just woke up around uh, seven. How many steel reserves last night? None. Millard and Macaw teamwork against the Goombas. Macaw! Macaw! The vulture hunter. Uh, can't be too bright to make your arms explode. Well, I didn't say he was going to fucking cure cancer, but Greg Valentino's not stupid. I mean, it, if it's possible to be, uh, have, you know, it's possible to have street smarts and not be that bright. I mean, Mr. G is 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 got to be either in the early stages of Alzheimer's or dementia or borderline retarded. And uh, Jimmy the Bull, I really don't want to make too much fun of Jimmy the Bull because I think he has some serious... Uh, emotional problems or depression or something like that. I don't think that's cool to really make fun of somebody who has problems like that. But uh, he's definitely not too bright either. <clears throat> I would definitely put, put Greg Valentino smarter than those two. Jimmy the Bull has a lot of trucking certifications. I'll tell you what, that hazardous materials endorsement on your CDL is not an easy written test. If he's if he has a hazmat endorsement, he's smarter than he looks. I used to carry a hazmat endorsement on my CDL and I studied for it to pass the written exam. And when I went in, when my license expired, must have been maybe 10 years ago, I went in and to keep the endorsement, I had to retake the, uh, the written test. And I didn't know I was going to have to retake a written test when I went in to renew my license. So I hadn't studied the hazardous materials uh, in, uh portion of the CDL book handbook and when I retook my written test for my hazardous materials I didn't pass it so I actually lost my um, endorsement for hazmat I could always get it back I don't currently need it but goes to show you can't pass that test without studying anymore right I flip-flopped on my hazmat What's the best bow to get? I have no idea anymore. Someone sent me an old clip from RX Muscle. It must have been when Johnny Bravo first went on there. And he, he rubbed Jimmy the Bull the wrong way. And Jimmy the Bull fucking tore him a new asshole. It was funny as fuck. <clears throat> uh, ooh, this pre-workout is starting to kick. Someone parked right next to me. I can't see the door at the gym. We get a can we get a time check? I have no idea on Leo's cause of death. Hamburg is still mad at the Cuban. Who cares about Hamburg, honestly? Six fifty seven? You mean seven fifty seven? They probably unlocked the doors already, but I gotta finish this. <clears throat> Sassy Savage Goddess. What's up? I heard they just legalized hard drugs in British Columbia. 
That's not good. Oh. Actually, it is good. You know, if you legalize dr hard drugs and a bunch of people getting welfare overdose and die, it takes a huge burden off the taxpayer. It'll temporarily fuck up the emergency rooms, but eventually they'll kill themselves. I know that sounds morbid as fuck, but... <clears throat> Jay Masters, libertarian. Yeah, I probably am libertarian. Uh, I just would never vote that way because libertarian candidates have no chance in a fucking corrupt two-party system. And that's what we have is a corrupt two-party system. Yeah, I'm very libertarian because I'm really not that, I'm, I, I'm not evangelical at all. Um, I'm not, I don't have a lot of the same uh, views that, that, uh, that a lot of Christians have. I vote the same as evangelicals do. <clears throat> Jay Masters, National Socialist. That's right. I am a nationalist, and I happen to be white. Does that make me a white nationalist? Macaw! Macaw! <laughs> Sassy's a vampire. No, I think you're just delusional from crystal meth. Do they even call it crystal meth anymore, or is that me showing my age? <clears throat> Fuck, I don't want to get out in this rain, goddammit. All right, guys, I'm going to wrap this one up. Oh, I need some eye drops. Conservative Florida vampire Chuck Stiegel. I've heard that name before. I'm not, I don't really know who he is. All right, I'll, I'll try and make some gym videos, guys. No promises, but I'll try. All right, maybe I'll... Well, it's pouring rain, so I'm not even going to offer a, a pool video later. The, it's been such a cold winter in Florida. I haven't been to the pool since before Thanksgiving. So anyway, guys, time to hit the gym. Um, troll the fuck out of RX Muscle and Johnny Bravo. In fact, <clears throat> you know, I get accused of giving people orders in my private chat group. So you know what? I'm just going to say it right here on my YouTube channel to the whole wide world. The next time Dave Palumbo is live, fucking take over the fucking comment section. Go on one any one of his RX Muscle shows, especially if Bravo is on there, and let those douchebags know how we, the Genovaverse, the Piss Troopers, the Masters Militia, Whatever you want to call us, misfit maniacs. Let those fucking Goombas know how we really feel about them. That's a direct order from Father.